Today we're going to cover the FKI CB radio power supply, which allegedly says 3 amps on it somewhere. Does it? Mr Chippy's with me? No, he doesn't think it does. Does it say anywhere? Well, we've had to take the label off to get into the back of it. No. I think this was the worst one on the market. And I've bought this off eBay uh, for £9.99 plus postage just to do this video with you because these are dire. Now, the, open it up, Mr C. Inside, you've got a transformer and a rectifier and some smoothing capacitors. And the only active component is a 7812 voltage regulator IC. Now, any of you with a bit of electronics knowledge will know that the 7812, just uh, kind of hold that and I will zoom in, is a three-legged regulator chip. And there we go, that is the device. Now then, you've got two capacitors on that printer circuit board, which we're going to change as a precaution. And what we have got is an upgrade, if I can find where I've put it. Because there's a 2 amp version of the 7812. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change those capacitors and then I'll show you this upgrade. So this will turn that from a 1 amp power supply, which is inadequate for nearly all CBs, to a 2 amp power supply, which makes it adequate for most CBs. So I'll just pause the video and we'll change those two capacitors. Now the big one is 2200 microfarads at um, 35 volts and the small capacitor on the left is 47 microfarads at 25 volts. We're just going to swap those for new ones. Okay, so Mr Chip is now holding the uh, item and he's changed both the capacitors. We've put 105 degree ones in because they're just more reliable in the long term and they're still pretty cheap. Now if Mr Chippy picks up the pack with the new thing in so we can see the part number and I'll just zoom in on that. This is a 2 amp version so it's an 78S12 oh look it's made in China but nevertheless it's a 2 amp version we got this from RS Components but an L78S12 is 2 amps and that way it's going to be a bit more sensible than being a 1 amp CB power supply. So the first time in its life this power supply may become useful. So Mr Chippy will now fit that. Okay, and back with the recorder. Mr Chippy's now fitted the new 2 amp device. And we've come to the conclusion that the way the diodes are wired in that bridge rectifier arrangement should be quite okay for uh, approaching 2 amps. If you wanted, you could upgrade those diodes to 2 amp diodes instead of the 1 amp diodes that are fitted. Or conversely, you could put the 3 amp ones in. The number of the 3 amp ones would be 1N5400 or 1N5401. So we've got the new capacitors in, we've got the new device in. I think it's time to switch on. So we'll just uh, turn it the other way around and connect it to a meter and see what happens. Okay, so we've put it back together. What Mr Chippy's done is to connect the meter, so you can see that. In that bag is a light bulb, it's a 21 watt car light bulb, so you're looking at nearly 2 amp load. So if you'd like to switch that on Mr C, we'll see what we've got. And there we have 13.77 volts on a load of just approaching 2 amps. And it hasn't shut down, which it would have done if we'd ever tried this uh, with the one amp device that was fitted. So there we are, the FKI dreadful CB home base power supply from round about 1982 will now for the first time in its life be able to support a normal CB set which normally draws 1.2 amps. So there's a very useful upgrade on a very cheap component. Thank you for watching.